Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's live broadcast, Understanding Compliance in Your Cannabis Facilities. I'm Megan LaRue, the Group Editorial Director of Cannabis Science and Technology, and I'll be your moderator for today's event. We are pleased to bring you this webcast presented by Cannabis Science and Technology and sponsored by High Yield Solutions. I would now like to share a brief statement from our sponsor. Recognizing the need for industrial duty cannabis processing and handling equipment, High Yield Solutions Corps was formed. They are a leading U.S. manufacturer of industrial cannabis shredding and processing equipment. They have significant experience with cannabis applications paired with a reputation for providing quality equipment that will stand up to the demands of the industry. They look forward to bringing high quality equipment to the industry to help their customers with all their processing equipment needs. I have a few important announcements before we begin. This webcast is designed to be interactive and we encourage you to ask questions during the event. You can submit questions by typing them in the Q&A box, which can be found on the right-hand side of your screen. You can enlarge the slide window by clicking on the small square icon in the upper right-hand corner of the slide window or by hovering your mouse over the lower right-hand corner and dragging the window to the desired size. The slides will advance automatically during the event. If you have any technical problems viewing or hearing this presentation, please click on the question mark help widget in the dock at the bottom of your presentation window. Before I introduce today's speakers, I would like to ask our audience to participate in two brief polling questions. Please click directly on the screen to enter your answers. Here's the first question. How are you handling your waste? Included with normal waste? A provider handles it for me. I have my own waste processing system. Currently do not have a solution. I am not aware of my regulations and my options. Once again, how are you handling your waste? Included with normal waste? A provider handles it for me. I have my own waste processing system. Currently do not have a solution. I am not aware of my regulations and my options. Thank you for participating in our first poll. I'd now like to ask our audience to participate in our second polling question. Please click directly on the screen to enter your answers. Here's the next question. What types of destruction have you experienced? Shredder, wood chipper, compost, incinerator? Once again, what types of destruction have you experienced? Shredder, wood chipper, compost, incinerator. Thank you for participating in our second poll. I would now like to introduce today's speakers. We are pleased to be joined today by Joseph Boyk and Jeff Bodwine. Joseph has a mechanical engineering degree from the University of Toledo with field experience in mechanical and electrical systems. As lead engineer for High Yield Solutions Corps, Joseph has developed specialty equipment for the cannabis industry by applying his firsthand knowledge of agricultural processing equipment and access to over 40 years of industrial manufacturing. He is committed to providing the best custom solutions possible by working directly with end users. Joseph's commitment to product development and direct end user interaction is what defines High Yield Solutions Corps as a leader in the cannabis equipment industry. Jeff has a mechanical engineering degree from Kettering University and extensive field experience with system design and installations. He also has a lifetime of agricultural equipment experience combined with nearly 20 years experience with design and manufacturing of industrial shredding, processing and material handling, and separation equipment. As operations manager for High Yield Solutions Corps, Jeff has been involved in the design and installation of numerous cannabis waste and hemp processing shredders and systems. He is committed to providing customers with solutions that exceed their company's expectations. Thank you both for joining us today. Please get us started. Thanks, Meg, for that kind introduction. A little background on High Yield Solutions Corp. We were formed in a direct response to the cannabis market um, as we've seen a need for some quality industrial processing equipment. Um, we've spun out of another company that has, you know, 40 plus years of industrial shredding and recycling experience. Um, so our team is focused on, you know, providing processors um, and growers with equipment that they need to, you know, stay in compliance with the current regulations based on their state's rules and requirements. Here you're going to see the members of our sales team. All about your application and um, what would what be the best, be best fit for you. Um, you're going to be talking to one of these fine gentlemen here versus myself, uh, Joe Spoik. I'm a, the technical lead here at High Yield Solutions. I'm a mechanical engineer with 
five years experience in, in the cannabis industry and quite a large background in different systems um, and design for some in the automotive industry, um, some in um, e-scrap industry. Uh, we also have Curtis Merrill uh, with 15 years uh, project management and application support. We have Jim Page, uh, technical sales, 40 years of sales support for commercial and industrial equipment. And then Jeff Bodwine, who's on the call here with us today, with 18 years of industrial shredding system design, customer support, and project management. So today we're going to go through a few key points here. Um, those will include your cannabis waste compliance requirements and some about the different areas and the different rules involved with that. Saving time and profits through compliance and some of the equipment we offer. And then equipment and solutions to help you manage your waste. So first we're going to jump right into cannabis waste compliance requirements. As you can see on this slide, shows many of the states that have legalized marijuana compliance um, concerns or requirements, whether they're fully legalized, uh, medical and decriminalized, just medical or just decriminalized, or there's still a handful of states that are still fully illegal. And this map may even be updated a little bit more here in the last couple of days. But this kind of gives you a depiction of where compliance comes into play, which is in the majority of the states at this point. What we currently know about waste compliance requirements, we've actually got some published white papers on this topic as well, um, which you can kind of see here in the slide. The state regulated compliance uh, may change depending on which of the 29 states that have legalized marijuana. Um, so each state is a little bit different, but there are definitely some similarities between states and some you know, key things to kind of focus on. Um, one of the main ones is that the cannabis waste must first determine whether it's hazardous or non-hazardous waste. Uh, hazardous waste landfill versus non-hazardous waste landfill. Obviously, there's different handling methods and different costs associated with uh, handling that type of material um, while staying in compliance. Um, the cannabis product must also be considered rendered unusable and unrecognizable. Uh, many states require it to be grinded, to be ground or shredded, um, and incorporated or mixed with other unusable waste um, to typically around a 50% mix. And the cannabis waste must also be disposed of as a non-compostable waste uh, in landfill or compostable waste or incinerated or processed through anaerobic digestion. Uh, some of the repercussions that are associated with non-compliance um, obviously, it could result in fines or, worst case scenario, loss of a license. Um, so here are some you know, supporting documents that kind of talk about some of those uh, scenarios where people have been you know, written up for noncompliance. Um, so that kind of you know, provides some evidence of the reason and the need that uh, we need to make sure we are in compliance with our local state requirements on cannabis waste. Now we're going to jump into different ways that we can save time and profits through compliance. One of the first ways for that is volume reduction. Cannabis plants, if you throw the whole plant in there, it takes up a whole lot of room in, in your dumpster, um, and your dumpster is very light. Um, so what we can do is we can ensure that your dumpster is full due to the weight, not full due to the volume. Um, when we break up this material, it just packs a whole lot tighter. Um, and we can also process not only the plant itself, but other waste. Uh, some of that will include, you know, office scraps, um, cardboard, um, your pots, your pans, uh, anything really that is uh, waste on your application and you would normally be throwing in into the dumpster anyways. Best case scenario, with some of the plants that we're shredding and, and some of the objects that we're shredding, we can reduce that volume up to 50%. And as we're talking about here today, another way we can do that is with your compliance. Uh, like we were talking about earlier, we will want that plant to be unusable and unrecognizable. With that, we can help you protect your proprietary info and products. So if you have something about your growing process or something about your plant that's better than everybody else, we shred it and get it down to a size where it's going to be hard for them to recreate. With our shredders as well, it 
just the act of shredding it and throwing in different all all these different materials while you're shredding when you mix it 50 50 the, the shredder does that for you and as we also mentioned you can avoid huge fines and really just deter people from dumpster diving and, and getting their hands on that waste we also improve your efficiency all of our machines and systems we make sure that they are easy to use low maintenance low operating costs and just fine systems. Um, they shred material eat, so it's easier to transport, not as bulky, and it's more consistent size. And we have many system features that include high-level shutdown, auto-reversing, jam protection, um, container full systems, auto-diverting chutes, so just full automation there to really uh, improve your efficiency and, and help things keep moving along. We can also reduce your costs. We reduce your manpower needed. You don't have to have several people cutting up the plant and destroying it and carrying it around. Um, it's much simpler to handle and, and you simply just need one person feeding that shredder. Uh, it's, there are, all of our machines are self-contained, simple to use, easy to uh, operate. We offer a lot of stuff with enclosed hoppers and chutes to prevent injury and are, they're low speed. Uh, you don't have to have a big dust system or cleaning system. Uh, it's With our low speed, it, it doesn't produce a whole lot of dust. And because we use electric motors, there's no gas or, or diesel-powered equipment, so there's no fumes from that and no additional cost for getting fuel. Now we're going to talk a little bit about ways we can introduce that cost savings through a tool that we have launched, our ROI calculator. Because of strict and potentially expensive disposal requirements, it makes sense to invest in our equipment because it's reducing the volume of waste and maximizing the use of your waste containers and potentially lowering the number of waste containers needed overall. Reducing the time and manual effort spent rendering the waste unusable and unrecognizable. Reducing the cost and time associated with maintaining or replacing tools used to render waste. So with the use of our shredders, you can save money, time, and effort. Up to 50% reduction in waste volume like we talked to before. Um, depending on the size of your dumpster, your dumpster is either going to be overloaded with that big bulky material or shredded down to a fine enough size where you're truly going to be limited to your weight. So you're going to get the most out of your dumpsters. Um, as we were talking about before, shredders can handle a wide range of materials. Some of the stuff we've seen is the extra netting, cardboard, and really just about anything. Um, our smaller 10 horsepower shredders can chomp through a piece of wood. So if you have one of our larger systems, let us know what you might be shredding and, and we can definitely tell you if we can handle that material. Um, and, and as we talked about, the potential to save countless hours and effort uh, compared to manual destruction, even at the lowest throughput. Our heavy-duty shredder can handle your waste and eliminate the cost of replacing and maintaining other tools that you would use in that process. So one of the tools that we have available to help with determining your return on investment concept is an ROI calculator that we developed. Um, this is available on the High Yield website. Um, basically, if you know how much waste your facility is generating per month, um, you can use the little slide bar uh, to adjust the pounds per month of waste. Um, you can also adjust the size of the current dumpster or roll-off containers that you're using. Uh, then towards the bottom, uh, we'll spit out some information and kind of give you a payback on uh, how a shredder can help your facility. So it takes into account uh, the volume reduction. Uh, it does have a box uh, for hazardous upcharge. So if your state considers cannabis waste to be a hazardous material, um, you can click that box and it will help uh, calculate that accordingly. Um, basically, by applying a markup to the cost of the you know, the cost of the transportation and landfill of that waste. Some additional ways we can help with the return on investment with some of the equipment offered by High Yield is uh, with the processing side of the cannabis plant. Our High Reaper line of equipment offers solutions to process full plants, um, either in the field or right in your facility. Um, which can aid in some separation prior to a drying or extraction process. 
Um, our equipment is gentle on the product, so it preserves the quality of the plant as it's being processed. One other area of equipment that High Yield Solution offers that can help your, your business with some uh, return on investment are pre-roll shredders. Um, we make a small unit that's customized to provide a consistent particle size cut um, for buds um, that, that help provide a consistent particle for the pre-roll or cone manufacturing process. Um, these machines are hand-fed. They're made to be quickly dismantled for cleaning. Uh, the entire cutter head can actually be submerged in an alcohol bath um, when cleaning in between strains, which can help save hours of intensive uh, grinding and cleaning while preserving the quality of the product. All righty. So now we're going to talk about our different equipment and solutions that we have available for you to help manage your waste. So we, as you can kind of see in this picture here, have full system integration and capabilities uh, for us to process your plants wet or dry. So that's stems, stalks, um, your root balls, as you can see in this picture, and that's with the pots and containers around it. Uh, we can also shred your rock wool, your coca core, your failed clones, your, your other harvest waste, such as the netting, the cardboard, and anything else that you may have in that application. We also have the different uh, hemp processing, which can is our high reaper product line, and that can be either in-house um, on a system similar to the plant muncher product line, or we can even make this system mobile for you. Um, we have a wide variety of options and customization there. Uh, a large majority of our customers use this to reduce hemp size, so it's consistent for drying and extraction and all the other parts of the product. Um, we can shred the stalks in the field. That'll help you reduce your transportation cost. And as we said, pre-dryer, post-dryer, uh, pre-extraction, uh, we can produce something to help you in, in most lines of uh, the cultivation of this product. And as Jeff mentioned, our, our high roller product line is really great for uh, dis uh, dispensaries and pre-roll manufacturers. Our current units out there are keeping up with uh, machines that roll around 4,000 joints a day and not being worked hard at all. And as he said, changing strains or don't want cross-contamination or it's time to clean, your downtime is minimal. You just swap that head out. So here you can see a screenshot of one of our videos. Um, if you're interested in, in looking at some of our equipment and some of the options that we've done, uh, you can go to our website and find a, a lot of resources there, including uh, some videos and pictures and cut sheets on a lot of our machines. These are some of our featured products for handling your waste. So here you will see a standard plant muncher. This one is a five horsepower. It'll process around 500 pounds of your waste an hour, depending on your feed rate. This one's set up to be hand fed and have a discharge bin underneath. Here you can see a fully integrated system. This one has a 30 horsepower motor on it, capable of doing around 4,000 pounds an hour. It's a fully automated conveyor and discharge with a split sh diversion chute at the end. So if you need to feed it one way or the other or want to feed two different dumpsters, then we can do that for an option for you as well. This is another example of that with a 10 horsepower where we had to do kind of a space saving solution here. So we actually straddle that uh, dumpster there so that way you can feed uh, that whole dumpster and we fit in the area needed with that as well we have that diversion chute at the end so that way you fill up the entire dumpster and not just have one large pile at one end and this is one of our smaller units this is a one horsepower and it's on casters it's smaller than a xerox printer we can make it plug into a normal wall outlet and you can walk push this around and walk it anywhere in your facility. Process is about 100 pounds of waste an hour, and it's 
just a nice clean little unit for if you're a smaller operation. Uh, we have a wide size and range of all of these units and, and many in between and some even larger. We can produce up to 200 or even 400 horsepower machines for your need. So here's an example of just the standalone system here. Um, chambers ranging from 8 by 8, so smaller than a piece of paper, all the way up to 60 inches by 60 inches. That would be one of our larger machines at that point with uh, above a 200 horsepower drive on it. Um, we have intelligent PLC controls on our machines and systems where it will auto reverse for you to try to clear any jams. And then if it can't clear that jam, it will shut itself down so that way you don't damage the machine or have anybody hurt from trying to reach in there. Um, we also, our maintenance is easy on the machine. It's few grease points, checking your oil, changing it de annually depending on how much you're running the machine. Uh, we can rate these for indoor or outdoor use. The systems are turnkey. All you have to do is plug them in or, or drop power to them. You fire up the machine and, and you're ready to process. And again, there's no gas or exhaust with our machines. They're all electric drive. And it's suitable for wet or dry plant applications. This slide features one of our cannabis systems. Some of the features of these systems are that they can be a large centralized unit. Um, one system in your facility can handle all of your waste, um, all cannabis waste, even all of your office waste, um, your corrugated packaging, all of that material can be processed through this equipment um, to save you space and time. Um, these systems are also available in mobile options. Um, we can do trailer mounted uh, systems so that it can be taken to the field. Um, all of the conveyors are customizable to fit within the space that you have in your building. Um, as far as height, width, length requirements. Uh, our team of engineers can work to maximize the efficiency of these systems and obviously to fit within the space to provide a working solution for your facility. All of the equipment is built uh, heavy duty uh, from structural steel. Um, everything is powder coated. Um, it's all fabricated in one facility, which also ensures a proper integration of all of the equipment. Um, it's factory runoff. The electrical is all. Uh, manufactured in the same facility uh, and pre-wired prior to showing up at your facility. So we can also ensure that the system will be factory tested before it arrives on site to your facility. Here are a few of the other products that are offered by High Yield Solutions Corp. Um, some of these were mentioned in a few earlier slides in the presentation. Um, the High Roller uh, is one of the machines that we talked about earlier. It is uh, designed specifically to process uh, cannabis buds for the pre-roll industry. Um, and to the right, you can see the picture of one of our high, real, high reaper systems, um, which is dedicated for industrial hemp processing. Um, we offer um, customized solutions there, uh, both in plant and in field. And from there, we'd like to see if there's any questions from the audience. Thank you for such an informative presentation. Before we get started on the question and answer session, I would like to remind our audience how to submit questions. You can submit questions by typing them in the Q&A box, which can be found on the right-hand side of the presentation window. Our first question is, what can the typical shredder process or shred? Our typical shredder can, can process or shred uh, really just about anything, depending on the size. Um, for an idea that our 10 horsepower, uh, we obviously test all of our machines to see what they're capable of shredding. Um, we have thrown two by fours through that machine countless times and it eats right through it. And that's, that's a smaller 10 horsepower. It'll also eat through thin gauge sheet metal and uh, you, uh, 100 horsepower can shred up to a lazy boy if you put, can fit it in the chamber and up the conveyor there. Um, it really kind of depends, but um, if you are smart about them and what you're feeding in there, they can really eat through just about anything. Um, just kind of all depends on the size, but, you know, we can process your, your cardboard, your office waste, you know, shred paper, just about anything. How do I know your company is the right fit? Well, High Yield Solutions is one of the only 
um, dedicated cannabis shredding and processing equipment manufacturers in the industry. Um, we've we've actually rolled out um, from some of our past experience with other volume reduction and recycling uh, applications and rolled out a full line of dedicated cannabis processing equipment um, specifically designed for this industry. Um, so that is probably one of the biggest reasons why we would be the best fit um, for this type of application. How do I fit your equipment in my facility? How much space does it typically require? So as Jeff had talked about in the main presentation earlier, um, it's our engineering team and the sales team is going to work with you to lay out a system and, and help you size and spec a machine that's, that's best for your environment. Um, so if you need a small machine, then we try to find a way where if you just need to be able to wheel it through a door and fit it through a door, uh, we will try to modify that shredder in the frame so that way you can do so. If you're looking for a larger system but only have a room of such and such size and you have to be able to fit the dumpster in there too, uh, we will work with you and design that custom machine and system to make that fit. Uh, that's really what we do with all of our systems anyways because no two applications are the same when it comes to our larger systems. So it's all dependent on your size, but if you work with us, we'll make sure that we can fit something in there for you. What type of customization is available? Almost anything that uh, the customer needs as far as customization is available. Um, High Yield has access to a very large uh, manufacturing resources, so we are able to customize pretty much all aspects or all components in the system um, to make it fit what the customer needs. How do you adapt to the changing industry? The biggest thing is we listen to our customers. Uh, they're really our best teachers. They live and work in the industry every day. Uh, so by staying in our touch, in touch with our customers, our equipment evolves based on their experiences and feedback. Uh, the, like you asked, the, the industry is constantly changing. We are not on the ground floor cultivating ourselves, and we always learn from, from you guys, our, our customers, and, and our network here. What does the process look like from idea to machine in my facility? Well, the process starts with a simple phone call to one of our technical staff here at High Yield. Um, they'll help kind of size the equipment uh, based on the application. They'll have a few questions for you about your facility. Um, how much waste to generate, what you're looking to do with that waste. Um, from there, we would generate a quote and a, a sales drawing. Um, once that's reviewed with the customer and approved, uh, the manufacturing process would begin. Um, and then, a, then the equipment is shipped, um, and we can even go as far as a factory installation. Uh, we'll send out a, a team from High Yield here to come out and do a factory installation. Um, once the equipment's installed, they'll do some training um, and some runoff, and you'll be, be off to the races. Does your company provide a test shred of sample material? Absolutely. Uh, we are regularly doing test shreds. Um, we try to record these. Um, we actually, I just had to buy another little camera for that because I accidentally shredded a camera. Um, so what that does is you can either send us your product or uh, we can try to source something that's similar to it. Uh, but generally it's easier if you guys send us your product. We'll shred it, we'll video it going in, we'll video it going out, we'll take some pictures with size and uh, measurements there, and then we can send that back to you. Where can I find my waste compliance laws? Well, one place you can start is on the actually on our High Yield uh, website um, under our resources page. There is uh, access to some documents and some information there um, as a starting point. From there, you also need to reference your state website um, again, and then with your local uh, municipalities or your local governments to see if there's any specific requirements in your local area. Does a shredder support composting effort? It depends on your state and your area. Many states do have clauses that allow for composting on site, um, and a shredder can greatly help with this process process because when you reduce the size of the material prior to composting, it, it helps uh, speed that up. So we, we definitely can form our shredders to do that. What do people mix their waste with if their area requires it? Most of the waste is actually generally mixed with cardboard. 
um, along with the other growing the other growing media or the materials that are used to grow the cannabis. So a lot of people destroy their their pots, uh, their their, so, their pots, their soil, um, their their irrigation lines if they have those, or netting lines. Um, even their office trash can be blended in as part of that 50-50 mix. Unfortunately, we are out of time. I want to thank the audience for attending and for participating in today's event. I would also like to thank our sponsor, High Yield Solutions, for making today's educational webcast possible. We would like to ask everyone in the audience to participate in a brief survey from our sponsor. You can see the survey to the right of your screen. You will receive an email alerting you when this webcast will be available for replay. I invite you to forward that announcement to your colleagues who may have missed today's live event. Thanks to all for joining. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.